To access the Faxcom web client, open your browser and navigate to fax.wustl.edu slash faxcomwebclient. For your username, the word accounts followed by a backslash needs to be entered before your Wustl key ID. Enter your Wustl key password and then select log on. Once logged in, you should be on the Compose Fax screen. You can always get there by selecting the icon on the upper right corner. The only required information in the Send to Fax section is the name and fax number. However, you may enter more information if you'd like. Once you've completed this section, select Add to Recipient List, and the recipient will appear below. If you think you may have made a mistake, select the plus sign next to the recipient to see what was entered. To change a mistake, select the checkbox next to the recipient and then select Remove and Edit. Adjust the necessary information and again add to the recipient list. Next, select the down arrows to expand the sender information section. In this section, the name and number fields are required. You may add additional information as needed. There's a default cover page that will deliver with the fax automatically. You may also add a subject and memo if desired. If you'd like to include an attachment with your fax, select Choose File in the Attachments section. Pop up window will appear. Select your file, then open, and your attachment will appear below. You can repeat these steps to add any additional attachments. Lastly, let's take a look at the Options section. It's recommended to leave the resolution of your fax set to detail. You have three options for the priority, low, normal, or high, as well as the ability to adjust when the fax will be sent. If you choose to delay your fax, make sure to enter the date and time in the format presented. We're now ready to send the fax. Select Send in the upper left corner. And that's all there is to it.